decided to honor the most important figure in the history of Bossa Nova. We've decided that after all these years, it's really time to pay attention to work of this brilliant Brazilian uh, composer named Antonio Carlos Jobim. You honor Jobim by playing the tune, but of course you put in your own twist. Any song that we adopt, right, when it's a cover song, we we always try to put our own twist, I would say, right? In this particular tune, uh, one note samba, I slightly rearranged the piece. I, I, I've added some, my own elements in there. Speaking with Pavel Yanni of Ticket to Brazil, you're doing a special show paying tribute to Antonio Carlos Jobim, and he's a key figure in Bossa Nova. Jobim uh, was a classically trained uh, pianist. He really admired uh, music by Claude Debussy and Maurice Ravel and, and other uh, classical composers, and that kind of shows Jobim really was a master of, uh, of composition. He had this gift. He could really combine very complex harmonic elements with simplistic melodies on top of that. And that combination really, I think, uh, gave this particular sound of his, of his songs. He came up with this language, this music language that he was speaking to the audiences all over the world. And people really understood his music, even without understanding the lyrics. Uh, his songs were really touching people's hearts. Pavel, you perform, in English it would be called, the Jet Samba, and that's a Jobim tune. Why do you play this one? Jet Samba, yeah, in, 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 in Brazilian Portuguese it's Samba de Avião. Uh, I always loved the tune, um, as many of other Jobim tunes, and very interestingly written. Uh, and so I've decided to do my own guitar arrangement for a solo guitar. So when I play with my group, I actually we play it as an instrumental piece, just solo guitar accompanied by, by the rhythm section. in Ticket to Brazil's tribute to Antonio Carlos Jobim, Astrid Gilberto also has a place in this. Astrid Gilberto, we all know her voice. When she recorded that song, she, I believe that she somehow followed her instinct and uh, she created some sort of standard of how bossa nova is supposed to sound. You know, in my opinion, uh, you know there are, there are there's many greatest singers, right? Or, you know, Elise Regina and Gal Costa, and there are all these wonderful, and of course many American jazz singers around her. So, so many vocalists are doing so many things around her, and yet she still remains this kind of, I would say, centerpiece. You know, in the in the sound of uh, among female vocalists who are singing bossa nova music. One of her songs that Ticket to Brazil performs is Agua Gibeber. Once you hear a tune, many of you will recognize it. Well, obviously, one of the very popular songs back from the 1960s. Uh, we actually did record this, uh, this song on our latest album, Natanya and Ticket to Brazil. Agua More information about Ticket to Brazil is available at the Facebook site of Pavel Yanni. This program is made possible by the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund. Phil Nussbaum speaking. Yeah.